Alright guys, this is uh, my first video in Texas. I've probably been in Texas now for at least drive time about four hours now. Um, I mean, I spent the night here, but I've only driven in Texas for four hours. Uh, I just stayed at a Jack in the Box because it was right next to a gas station. Jack in the Box has to be one of my favorite fast food restaurants. At one point in time, I looked into purchasing a Jack in the Box. Truth be told, I tried to actually like bring the franchise to the east, but uh, at the time there was uh, zero across the Mississippi River, so that was like a cutoff, and they weren't uh, expanding east. And obviously, when they did, they had no desire to reach out to me. But I wanted to bring them to Ohio. Um, I don't know. I guess uh, I guess there are places that do all-day breakfast. Um, I guess that's a commonality. Is uh, Jack and the Box and Sonic both do uh, all-day breakfast? And so those are by far my two favorite places to stop while traveling. Um, I mean, don't get me wrong. Uh, Culver's every day does a uh, an awesome hamburger. Probably one of the betters, for sure. Um, it's just crispy and flat. It's considered a smash burger. But yeah, this is where I stopped. Jack in the Box Chevron. Got gas, got Jack in the Box. It's a win-win situation. Probably won't be the last time I eat a Jack in the Box. Um, I have driven out of my way multiple times um, for a Jack in the Box. So, yeah. Needless to say, we're going to a small town in Texas. I thought my phone said it was cut and shoot, which very well could be a place. Uh, but I thought that was a weird name for a town, uh, cut and shoot. So right now my phone says we're in Conroy, at least as far as the temperature is. But uh, when you said cut and shoot, it could have been a completely different place. Sorry, it's hot here. As you can see, it's almost 80. With that lid on, it makes it uh, very warm. So, I haven't seen anything like beautiful or anything that like reminds me of Texas. But uh, truth be told, uh, this will be my first time in Austin. So I've been like, uh, well that's Arizona, no Dallas, Arizona. So I've been like southern Texas and uh, the, not the panhandle, but the, I don't know what you they call it, the nipple? The nipple of Texas? Just that little square that uh, pops up there in the top. I've driven through that many, many times. Um, Amarillo, Texas is right there, and uh, in my opinion, whether you get the, the big steak or not, you got to stop at the Big Texan and get yourself a steak. Uh, give you a 72 ounce or something like that, all you can eat, eat the whole thing in an hour or whatever, and it's free. Never done the challenge, but I've eaten at the Big Texas several times. It's a nice little stop from uh, an Amarillo there. Uh, yeah, got some, got some interesting stories for that uh, couple of those trips as well. Um, but that might be more for my uh, Patreon customers than uh, the YouTube masses. Um, but Texas gas prices show that are nice. 270, uh, I've seen 275 is the cheapest. But, as I said, there's nothing, I haven't passed any large bodies of water, I haven't uh, seen any mountains because there aren't any. <laughs> At least I don't think there are. Uh, I'm sure maybe part has some sort of uh, Rockies in it. But, uh, yeah, so this is uh, Cameroon, Texas, I think. Yep, this is Cameroon. I'm telling you, when I looked down there at one point in time, it said cut, cut and shoot. 
And I was like, well, that, if that's not a Texas name for a town, I don't know what is. But, uh, hey guys, hit that like, hit that subscribe. Check out my Patreon. Um, buy some coffee. Buy a shirt. All of the above. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.